Hello, my name's Guru Jimmy, and I'm here to understand the emotional landscape of the American people during the presidential election. Hello, Carla. Hello, Guru Jimmy. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Great. Nice. Should we get the hell out of here? So where did you move from to come to Los Angeles? I'm originally from Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. That's where I grew up. And then I moved to the U.S. after high school. And so what do you think about Donald Trump talking about building a wall? I can understand how people can feel frustrated with whatever situation they think is unfair, unjust. Do I think that justifies a crazy action like building a wall? No. Do people think you look like a Muslim? When I lived in New York, every cab I went into, they always asked me if I was from where they're from. They always get very excited, and then I always have to disappoint them and say no. People who are voting Trump say they want America back for Americans. Yeah. What do they mean, Carla? I have no fucking idea. Like, are they trying to make it back to how it was in the 50s? A lot of women weren't in the workforce, and there was not equal rights, and... There were a lot of things that were backwards, so that's why I'm confused. Did you watch the debates, Carla? I did, and I got a fever afterwards. Really? Yeah, I had to take some Tylenol. What did you think when Donald started to talk about his penis? I mean, who cares, you know, about his penis? Sure, he's overcompensating tremendously with all his behavior, but, you know, a lot of guys do that. Do you care? and understand why people support Trump. I still care about their feelings or their insecurities or their worries because I'm sure on some level it's not that far from my own. We just see it differently. So Carla, would you say you look at it in a more of a community orientated way rather than individualistic? So if you feel part of the larger picture, then you're more likely to be happy and considerate and compassionate. Well, I don't know about happy because I, I definitely think the more you're in touch with the reality of the collective, sometimes that can lead to happiness, sometimes that can lead to even more sadness because you you're, you might have been more delusional than you actually thought. So Carla, what do you think when, you know, the Democrats, Republicans, people voting this, voting that, or not voting, nobody getting on, what is happening? We need to all find ways to connect on the bigger picture, which is how do we move forward together regardless of our disagreements. Hey.